Merry Christmas, New Life family. We had so much fun getting ready for the Christmas season. We had Christmas parties. The youth mm. party was so much fun. So good. We had our Christmas concert. That, yeah. was, that was so much fun. I loved it. What was your favorite part? Um, okay, well, Pastor Greg was hilarious with the kids. <laughs> that was really funny. But I loved Alexa painting with gear. Yes. Oh, every time I cried. It was every good. Time. It was good. I think for me, um, like the choir was awesome. Yeah. Um, they did a really, really good job. But I just, I loved seeing so many different generations on stage together. Mm -hmm. Like the, the students were amazing always, like the singing and the dancing. Yeah. But just seeing how many different generations and how much talent we have at New Life just sharing a stage was yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was so much fun. I mean, being together as a New Life family this Christmas has just been so wonderful. We had a Christmas Eve service with the candles, always fun with the candles. Yeah, it felt like just really homey last night. It did, it, it really did, yeah. It was good. So uh, today we have our Christmas Day video for you. We hope that you enjoy it wherever you're watching from, maybe in your family rooms, with your families. Um, but we have a Christmas carol sing with the New Life staff. Yes, yes. All yep. of us. <laughs> and then back by popular demand. We've got our Christmas kids video. Mm. Now, fun fact, yep. people always ask, where was this filmed? Mm. We actually filmed in two locations. We had Brayside and CEF. So it's pretty cool right. having both of those places Absolutely. in our video. Right in our backyard. It right was cool. Um, and then we have a message from Pastor Mark yeah. afterwards to finish it all up. And yeah, we just hope that it blesses you. So from the New Life Family Department, um, we just want to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Just so love Christmas. Did you guys have a good Christmas? Yeah, early. Christmas is amazing. Love it. How early did you get up? Uh, seven. That's not too seven. bad. Seven. Up. It's like sleeping no, in. No, I got up early, like five o'clock. I was gonna kids. say we got young you kids. You don't get up at five o'clock. There's no way. It's the kids up. that get me up at five o'clock. I don't naturally wake up. That's a sin. There's nobody. That's what that happens wake up when that your early. kids are I just, little, I right? Just, yeah. I just imagine them like waking you guys up, and then Chan has to go. Yeah, it's generally what Oh my gosh. <laughs> do they wait for you or do they just like start and you come down and get the Coles notes after the presents? Nah, nah, they usually wake me up. I'm the one who usually does all the morning routines. Oh, you're the Santa. Oh. Yeah, you hand so, out the gifts? So I got to go down, make breakfast. I got to do all that type of stuff because oh, I'm the please. chef. Wow. I've never seen you cook. You've <laughs> never seen me cook? <laughs> First of all. I've seen you on the barbecue, that's it. Yeah, and I'm sick in the barbecue. Usually it turns out <laughs> I'm sick with Mr. Noodles. <laughs> Okay. And cereal, and right. cereal. Because you guys noodles. don't know, you guys just take the noodles and put it in the no, pot. No, you've got to see Carson make it. He's yeah. got poached eggs on top. But that's what I do. Hanging over the that's side. That's what I do. Yeah. You got cilantro, all of that type of stuff. I don't 30, even think I even said it properly. Into a wait, wait, wait. Are, are you having ramen for Christmas breakfast? You know what? I forgot we were talking about Christmas for a second. So, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I actually do is like pancakes, French toast, <laughs> stuff nice. like that. I was trying to defend myself. That's why. <laughs> That's how I ended up at Mr. Doodles. Uh, <laughs> we have like those sandwiches that your mom makes. Yes, my mom the makes these sandwiches the every year. For, like overnight. It's good. Overnight sandwiches. So good. What's so in the sandwiches? Eggs and ham and, and tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah. Mustard. And oven, like so good. like soaks overnight. Tomatoes. And then, yeah. It's good. All right. So in our house, I have a rule. Like you have to organize how the gifts are being given, and then you've got to have a garbage bag ready for the paper. Wow. Hold on. So you unwrap a gift, Our kids sit. and then you put it in the garbage bag. I, I don't want to mess up Hold on, let me get this house. straight. What kind you micromanage that? <laughs> your present opening? 100%. <laughs> he pulls all of Jaden's out and puts them in a pile, and then he pulls all of Carson's out and puts them in a pile, and all, and then he gets the garbage bag, and then he right. makes all the hot chocolate and coffee while they all sit there. Are we surprised? Just, uh, uh, listen. <laughs> I I make Christmas special in my house. <laughs> we'll ask your we'll ask your kids. No no no. Sure. You gotta let the the wrapping paper mess just be like that's no, what we do. It's no, that's part no, of the fun. No. It has to be different. Chaos Christmas no. chaos. No no. Can't, yeah outside can't of the regular. Oh it's so good. Yeah I, I let the kids. We usually go over to Shan's mom's because everybody has gifts over there. So we we'll take the kids go over there and then just slaughter her house. Oh, pick God. up nothing. <laughs> We eat, <laughs> still leave everything on the ground. <laughs> then we go home. Oh. Say, Remind me, thank you for Greg the is not allowed to come to right? our house Christmas yeah. morning. What do you mean? Good call. That is just part. That's our it, Christmas routine, though. No, you got to clean up after yourself. Just add his name to the list of chores. Oh. <laughs> who, we'll who? put him on throwing the Christmas paper out, picking up every single little. Bet piece. you I won't. Right after, right after you make breakfast for everyone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I just love Christmas, guys. Guys, like. 
Christmas morning and the Christmas jammies, like, come on. The jammies so are good. Cute. Matching jammies? Matching, yeah, all the boys oh, in matching jammies. We'd be out one year and never again. I think I bought them too small for you and Jaden. You guys look oh. a little... Snug. Snug. <laughs> Snug. 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 Snuggly. Snug, yeah. I love the lights. My favorite is sitting by the Christmas tree yeah. at night with the, yeah. all the lights off and just the tree. Yeah. Yeah, I That's like good. That. That's good. That's I good. Like that. Yeah. What do you, you like, know, Greg? I actually really like Christmas carols. What? Christmas, Christmas carols. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I think it's only once a year it actually happens okay. that I actually get this desire. Right. But yeah, Christmas carols. You know what's even more interesting? I actually happen to have a guitar. Oh, it's right here. Yes. Just, Look at weird, us. Wow. wow. Just right here, just conveniently. Wow. So, it's almost like we knew it. we were going to do this. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, do you guys think that we should maybe sing some Christmas carols? What do you think, Greg? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Let's do Thanks. it. Let's show you Good. where Chantel got her voice training from. Oh, hey! Okay. Okay. That's okay. out there. That's out there, man. That's out there. Oh, right. <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Greg's having way too much fun. Uh, it's Christmas. Way it's Christmas. Too much fun. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. I a- <laughs> it's Christmas. I absolutely love saying joy to the world. I'm so thankful for our Savior. But there's that one song. It's got like a herald and an angel. What is, what is it? What is a herald? A herald? Harold's a bird. It's a, bird. It's a plane. I don't it's think a plane. it's a bird. Superman. It's a Superman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we have rights to Superman. It's a Harold. Here. A Harold is a bird. A, a no, bird. no, it's not. A Harold Patrell is a species of seabird. A member. It ranges in, include from the Pacific Ocean to the Indian Ocean. It's a bird, but I don't think it's a bird in this Why one. would somebody name a bird Harold? Well, and not just that. <laughs> Christmas We're not talking. That's not what the song. Why is there about. a Christmas song about Harold the Bird? Different kind of Harold. Different kind of Harold. Kind of Harold. What kind I'm of Harold? pretty sure it's like a messenger from the king. Right. I'm pretty oh, sure. well, that makes more sense. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. So <laughs> let's do the song with the messenger from the king with the angels. Named Harold. Where they harp. His harp. name's not Harold. Okay. Harold. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Confused half a brand. Like, <laughs> did you say where so. they bark? Hark. 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 Hark the Herald Angels. Hark the Herald. I don't really know what Hark means yes. either. <laughs> All right. Well, let's turn their mic off. <laughs> All right. Hark the Herald yeah. Angels sing. Let's do it.
Pretty oh, good. That was an amazing song. It's good. You've got yes. a you've got a good soprano voice going on over there. Great. Did you used to go door to door? Baritone or something? Or I think you're talking something Oscar. very Greg, manly. You you were you you did carols door to door. You have experience professionally in door to door caroling. Don't you? That no. smile, the you the sway. Top hat, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here! Get out of here! You have a top hat like the soprano and the alto and the bass and the tenor and the bear. Oh, you were hitting all of it. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. You know, you someone had to teach. Huh? You should have been in the choir. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh. Thank you for that, though. I can, I can just see all of Chantel's success just like no. rides on no. nope. I'm you. your nope. talent. Nope. 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 You see, someone had to teach her how to sing. Okay. <laughs> all right. And as a loving husband, okay. I did. Enough lies. Enough lies. All right, enough lies. Right. It's Christmas after all. Why don't we end on a nice Christmas carol? Oh, come all you faithful. That's yeah, a really nice that's one. one. That's, that's a favorite. That's, that's, that's legendary. Let's do that one. Cool. Okay. Right. Be home. 
say that was a lot of fun. To the New Life Church family, from the staff to all of you, we want to wish you Merry Christmas. Christmas. the story of Jesus' birth. Aww. I think you'll like this version. There once was a young woman. I said young. Named Mary and a man named Joseph who were engaged to get married. They were the ideal couple, until they weren't. You see, an angel appeared to Mary and told her she was going to have a baby, which was pretty special because Mary was a virgin. The baby would be named Jesus and he would be the son of God. Gosh, what's a Uh, uh, it means she didn't have any kids yet. Oh, yeah. As I was saying, the baby would be the son of God. Joseph wasn't thrilled about it and told Mary that the wedding was off. Joseph decided to sleep on it and that night an angel appeared and freaked him out. <laughs> the angel told Joseph to still get married and to take care of Mary and the baby. At the time, Caesar decided that he wanted to take a census of the Roman world, which meant Joseph would have to go to his hometown of Bethlehem with Mary, who was super preggers at the time. When Joseph and Mary arrived in Bethlehem, all the hotels were full. Let's just say Mary was not happy. When my mom gets mad at my dad, she gives him the silent treatment. I bet that's one silent night at your house. <laughs> so Joseph checked with every hotel, but none of them would take them in. Finally, they found a barn to stay for the night, which was good because Mary was ready to pop. When this was happening, some shepherds were hanging out with their sheep when angels appeared and scared the shepherds. <gasps> said, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will make a lot of people really happy. Today in Bethlehem, the Savior is born. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Follow the giant star to meet him. Then they all sang. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun is to ride in a one-horse full prince sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <coughs> oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse full prince sleigh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. When do we get to the part about the wise guys? What? Oh, yeah, you mean wise men. <laughs> These guys followed Star to meet baby Jesus and brought gifts for the new king. I know what they were. Gold, Frankenstein, and s'mores. Close, they brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then they lived happily ever after. Not quite. <laughs> they had to flee King Herod and live in Egypt for a while, 
But that was the start of the life Jesus would live on earth before returning home to live in heaven with God. But yeah, they lived happily ever after. Well, it's Christmas morning 2022. What a special morning this is. You know, Sundays, uh, Christmas only falls on Sundays every seven years. Sunday mornings around our house looks a little different. I'm usually out of the house by 6 a.m. and on my way to the office. For a long time, it was just me that would head out in the morning and I'd drive around and pray and then I'd head to the office. But now that my kids get more and more involved in what's happening at the church, usually my, my two sons will come with me. But I remember a time when my kids were little and we would head off to church. And many of you, if you've got kids, can probably remember what this was like. You get up in the morning trying to get everybody ready. You try and get them all dressed. And if there was time, you'd grab breakfast. And if there wasn't, you'd eat on the way. You'd get in the car and sometimes the kids would bother one another and they'd start wrestling or arguing and parents would get all heated and upset. You'd pull into the church parking lot and you'd tell everybody it's time to relax. Everybody calm down, put your best face on, we're going to church. You'd walk into the building and everything would look perfect even though the car ride was crazy. Now, I know many of you are better Christians than, than I am, and maybe you've never had that experience, but I have a feeling there's more of you like me than not. You see, Christmas is such a wonderful time of the year, and I think this morning is such a special morning as it's Christmas and we're celebrating Jesus' birth, and it's Sunday as we would also be gathering together, but today we're doing it online as we're gathering with family and friends. Now, I hope you're sitting back with a coffee in your PJs. I hope you've just unwrapped all your gifts and you've had an incredible morning together. I thought it would be kind of special because it's Christmas morning to read the Christmas story. And so it goes like this. "'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse." We all know that that's one Christmas story that's told every year, but the true meaning for Christmas, we find it in Luke 2. The Gospels write a lot about it, but we're going to read what Luke 2 verse 1 says, and it says it like this. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken by the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place by well, Cornelius was governor over Syria. And everyone went to their hometown to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth into Galilee, into Judea, to Bethlehem, to the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who he was pledged to marry and was expecting a child. While they were there, a time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son, who they wrapped in cloth and placed in a manger, because there was no room in the inn. Now, there were shepherds living in their fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. In the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. I will be, this will be a sign to you. You will find him wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared. While they were with angels praising God, saying, Glory to God in the highest, and earth, on earth peace to men whom his favor rests. 
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread word concerning him, what had been told to them about this child. And all who had heard were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been. Today is Christmas Day. As we take this time in and enjoy the moment, as we're sitting in our family rooms, I want you to think about this one question. What is Luke writing about and how does it help us understand the true meaning of Christmas? You see, Luke writes about Joseph. He also brings King David into the conversation. He talks about Mary. He mentions there was no room in the inn. I'm sure that Joseph was the first man on earth to spend the night in the doghouse because of it. He talks about angels and the angel of the Lord and a heavenly host of angels. He talks about shepherds, even talks about baby Jesus. There's a lot going on in this moment. And sometimes it's like, it feels like Christmas for us. You see, there's a lot going on. And as you think about this last month, we usually rush into this very moment. We can't wait to get to Christmas Day. We can't wait for this moment, but we rush to get here. And before we know it, the time is over. You see, we go shopping and we do Christmas cards and we do Christmas concerts and we do work parties and there's family events and there's planning and preparing our house. There's Christmas lights, Christmas decorations. There's cooking meals, maybe right now in your house, you can smell the turkey cooking. But we rush, rush, rush. And sometimes we miss something because of it. This year, while I was writing this message, I actually realized that I had forgotten a gift that I had to run out and go get. You see, we can often rush so much that we actually forget to do certain things. And just like that, there's so much going on. Mary does something that I think we could actually take from her chapter in her life. You see, Luke writes about it because I think he understood how significant it actually was. And so if we were to take a chapter out of Mary's life, I think we should see what she does here in Luke in Luke 2 verse 19. It says this, But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. What was Mary pondering? I mean, I wasn't there. I've never had the conversation with her. But I wonder if she was thinking about Joseph and the things that he had said and the things that they had gone through together. I wonder if the wise men showing up and what that was like. I mean, Matthew talks about it. We didn't read it in this verse. But what that was like, I wonder if she was thinking about the shepherds and the angels and the things that had happened and were told to her. Maybe it was the prophecy concerning Jesus. I'm sure that there was a lot of things going in, going on in her mind. And there's a lot of things that she was thinking about. But there's something that stands out to me in this verse that I think was running through her mind. And it's Luke Verse 2, starting in verse 10. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. A Savior has been born. I believe as much as Mary was looking at this beautiful boy that she had just given birth to, that was her son. And as she looked at him, I'm sure she saw her son. But I also believe she saw the magnitude of God. I believe she saw the, the incredibleness of his love for us. But I think as she held that baby, she saw a Savior. 
today with everything going on and everything that you've planned and all that's going on in your life today. Stop and take a moment, just like Mary did, and treasure up all these things and ponder them in your heart like Mary did. Because I believe that Jesus came for us. And I believe that today, because he came, we have hope, eternal life. We have joy and peace, all because of our Savior. And so today, as you're sitting in your family room with your family, would you take this moment and remember who we serve and why today is so special? Let me pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for our church family. And God, as many of them are in their family rooms or they're watching this from different places in their lives, or maybe somebody that's never even attended our church is watching today, I pray that we would be reminded of your faithfulness, that Christmas Day we would remember how good you are. But I pray that just like Mary, we would treasure up these things in our lives, that we would ponder them, that we would think about them, and we would reflect on the fact that you came so that you could be our Savior. Today, God, we give you glory. We give you honor. And I pray with the busyness of what the Christmas season looks like, that we would never forget who you are and how significant you are in our lives. May we treasure that. And may we give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, New Life Church family, I hope you have an incredible Christmas, and I pray that this new year comes with God's blessing over you and your family.